vlog. You might have heard me say a couple of on the roads ago, if you watched it, I think it was Brentwood Town, that um, September is normally very, very busy. So we have, um, on the 10th of September, um, our anniversary, wedding anniversary. Me and Shao went to a spa, spared it up, didn't we? Had a, had a head in the clouds, head massage. On the Friday just gone, which was the 17th, we had a, uh, a family wedding party, Sharan's side, the family. Um, so we went along to that. On the 18th of September, which was a Saturday, that's my birthday, I'm over the hill, I'm over mid-30s now, I'm downhill now. I'm on, I'm on my way to 40, which sounds depressing, but I'm told that life starts at 40, so I'm kind of excited at the same time, which is good. And then on the 21st, um, it's my sister's birthday, but also happens to be Mia's birthday as well, and Waz's birthday, so happy birthday, Waz, if you're watching, but um, yeah, Mia's birthday today. We woke up this morning, came down, I guess we expected a reaction of uh, jumping up and down for joy and, and real, real excitement, but with Mia, um, I think her brain functions a little bit differently, and she takes five minutes, ten minutes to sort of soak it all in and, and process it all, so um, I think deep down we was expecting an excited reaction, but um, we didn't get it. Uh, nonetheless, she's happy with all of her balloons, a purple, she wanted specifically purple balloons, so we've got a few purple balloons. Uh, she opened a couple of presents, but more sort of knick-knacky presents. We've sent her to nursery with a cake to, to share with her friends today. And um, we're going to pick her up. She's only going to do a half day today. We've pretty much got a whole week planned for her. Every day we seem to be doing something. Uh, and on Thursday, I don't think she knows yet, her favourite Disney character is uh, Elsa from Frozen and Anna. Um, so we're actually going to the theatre to watch it. And we're going to surprise her, so I can't wait for that. And the show, of course. Like They've got some banging tunes in, in Frozen. I actually prefer Frozen 2 songs. Any dads out there watching, yeah, you know what I mean. But yeah, that's where we're at. But obviously, because it was so busy, I wasn't able to go on the road at the weekend. I was meant to go Lincoln the other day, but the car decided to blow up. Not blow up, but it just didn't start. So that's all fixed now. So I, I need to get to Lincoln as soon as possible, really. But yeah, no, no on the road this week. So I'm, I'm thinking, do a little vlog, catch up with you guys, say hey. And obviously, it's a good week with it being Mia's birthday, so... Yeah. Something else worth mentioning as well is Zach. And I know, mistakenly, I said it in the on the road, but I mentioned our five month year old baby. That's right, I'm wearing jeans and sliders. What's going on with my life? Hello! You right? Oh, I think someone's done a poo, I can smell it. Now, you'll notice last time around, Zach wasn't sitting up. He's sitting up all by himself now. He's loving life, isn't ya? And you can crawl, can't you? Yeah. Should we show everybody how you can crawl? Let's do your poo poo first and then you can crawl, yeah? Wife is home. Oh wow, this is childhood right here. We've got a pinata for uh, Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Can you hear that in the background? Oh, it's just, it's just Zach crawling. <laughs> Hello, Jack. Come this way, Zach. Ready? Adja. Good boy. Here he comes. Here he like comes. You, my strong boy. Here he comes. What's this? What's this? Oh, he's dribbling. <laughs> ah! You take that. Go on, you take it. Woo! Up you get. Oh dear. Look, look, it's here. Look, it's here. It's all right. There you go. Sorted for hours. But the main event right now is a picnic, but it's not really a picnic. It's a, I'd say it's more like a buffet. Yeah, and you just told me that you are. I'm living my childhood through Mia. Like everything that I would have wanted as a little girl, Disney princess stuff. Luckily, she she likes it. I'm not just forcing it on her. She wanted Disney princess, and I ran with it because hmm. I like Disney princesses. So, you've been busy setting the table. All the girls are here. Mia's home. You're going to find out when you open it. It's... It's... Whoa! Who is it, Mia? Wow! <laughs> Just discovered something that absolutely cracks Zach up. <laughs> Go on, do it, Mia. <laughs> How's the uh, the platter coming along? It's looking extremely yellow. That's what we want. That's what we want. 90s girl. Mum's gone to Iceland. So essentially this is what happens when you let a toddler... Choose what they want. Yeah. yeah. But, Matt, are you happy? I'm quite happy. Oh, I'm well happy, yeah. <laughs> like, got some prawns, popcorn, baby bells, sausages, mini pizzas. Oh, don't forget you. Hello, birthday girl. Mia, what was your favourite present? That one. 
the bag, yeah. you've got a bag of uh, frozen stuff. And where are we going to go on Thursday, Mia? Where are we going to go on Thursday? I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to work. You're going to work. All right, have a great day. See ya, bye. Vlog is Mia's special present. Where are we going, Mimi? Okay. Elsa's Palace. Elsa's Palace. Palace. We're going to go and watch Frozen live at the theatre. This is a big one. Um, Zach, you're probably asking where is he? He's not here with us. We've actually dropped him at Nanny's. Only problem is Nanny's not there until like three-ish, which means uh, Nana, who is granddad, and uh, Mama, who is uncle, he's, he's looking after him. And you're a little bit nervous. <laughs> I cried a little bit. I just, uh, yeah. This most precious thing I'm handing over to the most chilled person in the world, which is a good thing. But it makes me a little bit nervous. Aaron, isn't he? He's so chill. Which Zach actually loves. But for me as a mum, I, I feel like, is he going to remember to change the nappies? He needs a feed at this time. I trust him completely, but I don't trust him completely. Currently in London, going past a very, 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 very smart university. Only very, very smart people go to this one. This is the London School of Economics. They mentioned it in the, uh, the social network film which is a big deal. So yeah, very, very smart people go here, Mia. I think you could go here. Oh, for sure. Where did you go? I'm a very, very, very smart person that went to this very, very, very <laughs> good university. <laughs> the London School of Economics. I'm sure any Americans watching this, you know how we look into New York and things like that? It's like, oh my God, a yellow cab. For them, I think looking at us, it's like red buses, isn't it? Mm. And telephone boxes. I wonder how long it's going to take us to find a black cab. I uh, wonder how long it's going to take us to find a red telephone box. There you go, we asked for one, we got two. There's one just here and one just further down there. And that is our tour guide complete. We've arrived at uh, Cinderella as well. Just going to park down Parker Street, says Cher. Um, and for ease of use, uh, we've gone for a very expensive NCP car park today. Actually, it's not that expensive, is it, if you break it down? Yeah, but at least we know that it's We close. know. We're here. We're going down. Down, down, down. Let's do this. Mia is ready, got the popcorn ready. Do you know what? Because we have reached Elsa's Palace. Magical. See you after. See you after, Mia. Vlog. Welcome to uh, Alton Garden Centre. So today's Saturday. Um, uh, we last left you on Thursday when we went to Frozen, the, the, the musical, the show, the theatre uh, for Mia's birthday. She absolutely loved it. Um, couldn't film while we was in there, obviously, and I was absolutely knackered by the time I got out. So, um, yeah. Yesterday I did some work on the Palmer's videos, so this Sunday will be a, 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 a Sunday League Extra with Wazza. And then on Monday, which is when this is getting uploaded, so when this comes out, hang around, um, you'll be able to see a Palmer's game. Um, we're ramping things up on there now. We've got brand new sponsorship with uh, the guys over at Free Trade. I actually got that via Elliot Hackney, so thank you very much to him. Um, they sponsor the kickoff, uh, True Geordie and all that. Um, and Elliot said, yeah, they've got some budget. Palmers will be a perfect fit. So here we are, we've got a sponsor for the season. It's the first time we've actually got a big budget, um, which has allowed me to get on board um, a social guy in Brook. Really glad to get him on board. He did a lot of uh, the Clash of Creators uh, socials. Um, it's his first proper thing, so really glad to be giving him some experience. And so far, he's been fantastic. He's, he's not only doing socials, he's been more of a, like a producer as well. He's pulling the strings and, and, and working out uh, new ideas and, and things like that. So he's been fantastic. So if anyone needs a social guy, uh, speak to Brooke. Who else have we got? We've got Serge on the graphics as well. We've got Paul Raff on the photography. You would have seen, if, if you've seen the last Palmer's video, we were incorporating the photos into the videos now, which is quite cool getting like little snapshots um, but Serge is using those photos as well to create some graphics we've got young Josh as well he's uh, he's actually going through the old archives and, and clipping up and we're actually launching a TikTok as well uh, we've already got 10,000 followers I believe so uh, that's going quite well Palmer's for a lot of people uh, was an era growing up and they look back on those times with uh, fond memories so um, to go through the archives and stick them on TikTok as short clips it's uh, it's going quite well at the moment so yeah but anyway uh, fast forward to today today we have planned um, me has got a tiny little get together very last minute actually um, a few friends over over. Dad's going to be doing pizzas on the barbecue, but we've run out of gas, which is why I'm here to get the gas. Uh, and then later on, uh, I'm going horse racing. Every time I come in here, I want to get something new. I can't because it's so expensive. So, mission successful there on the old gas. However, however, as I go on to the A127, something that might be a little bit harder to get hold of is petrol slash diesel at the moment because, well, You've probably seen it in the news. Due to the shortage in tanker drivers at the moment, it means that there's going to be a lack of petrol soon. And do you know what that's called? Panic buying. So everyone's at petrol stations right now, clogging up the roads, and probably doing more harm to the environment by just sitting there idle 
in a queue. Just looking at my tank now, I'm down to, I'm, I'm, I'm under quarter. So I'm gonna need to fill up soon. And the reason I need to fill up soon is because I've got to go on the road on Tuesday, planning on going quite far, and I'm not gonna get there and back on a quarter of a tank, so, well, under a quarter of a tank. So as it stands, on the road hangs in the balance unless we get some diesel. You see, they're covering them up. But they have got diesel, but I just spoke to the geezer. He's not switching the pump on for some reason. He's not, they're not selling it. They don't want to sell it to anyone. I, I don't really know why. Maybe he's going to wait till he puts the prices up. I've turned them off. I've turned them all off. Daddy daycare. Mia, don't stand on your table. You're going to eat there. First you get the pizza and you... Right, Mia, that's plenty. Spread it. Spread it. That's a song, by the way, guys. Uh, we've got the piñata going. <laughs> Mia. Mia. Come on, girl. Welcome to... The race course. Floodlight heaven over here, I tell you. Look at these. So many floodlights. I'll be. Wayne was just commenting about my collar. It's really hot. Like the, the back neck. to front. He's it's not back to front. It's back not. To front. It's, it's really not. Look, check the label. Check the label. Back to front. Is it? Com. No, it's not. So we've got Wayne at horse racing. We've got Liam at horse racing. We've got Tomo and Nick up there as well. All the originals, apart from. Waza. Where's Waza? You seen Waza? Who's Waza? You seen Waza? If you do, he owes me twenty-seven pound. Seen Waza? You should know where Wazza is. He's probably indoors playing with all his retro shirts. <laughs> <laughs> What's Tom like, up to? Is Drugs? It, is that... <laughs> I can't believe I've never ever seen that. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's like, can I have that box please? <laughs> I'll take that box. <laughs> tickets please, tickets please. Oh. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. This is genuinely the first time I've been to a... No? A horse racing yeah. course. <laughs> and that means 13 do. I fancy the 10 horse here, Sovereign Moon. What's going to win? Is this your first time to the horse racing? That would be nice, Scott. It's my first time to Chelmsford. Chelmo. Right, give me some tips today. Bad bit. Okay. Well, let's hope so. It'd be lovely to have a winner for Her Majesty the Queen here tonight. Okay, so this is us, sports bar. Let's go. Beer. These boys and their beer, I tell you. So they told us we'd get a table. Look at this little thing. Look at this. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers Tomo. Thanks for reserving this lean to. Okay, first bets are on. Did he? Digital scoreboard here, they've got the lot. Put a bet on Wayne. Yeah, whiff waff. Whiff waff, yeah. Number three. These boys, they, they just sodded off and got chicken and chips, didn't they? Didn't even tell us. Didn't even tell us. Someone lost a bet, didn't they? And they're off. Uh, and Liam stuck a load of barbecue sauce on the chips there. Someone's halfway down on his beer. Nick's taking photos of me. Wayne's having a conversation with Tomo. The race continues. There's a man down there in an orange suit. How long, Tomo? Three limbs and three quarters. Oh, okay. Look at the excitement. Oh, I'm third, 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 I'm third. I think I'm third. Uh, joy, elation, everybody's happy apart from Tomo. Do you win? Do you win? Do you win? Do you win? No one won. All that excitement, Wayne dropped a bit of chicken. I think he lost. He lost another bet, didn't he? I should have backed the number two. This guy just came past and just picked up a random cup, but he genuinely is part of the cup crew. Look, there is, there's, a, there's a squad here called the cup crew just going around picking up cups. Uh, we've got a situation. We can't even start a second race. Look at this. Oh, they've got him now. We've been waiting here about 10, 15 minutes. Wee. Yeah, Pat, Paddy. Paddy, they got him. They got him. Tom has been putting on an Irish accent, pretending he's a trainer and people have been taking tips off him. giving tips up. And they're off! Uh, second race, let's do this, come on. Come on, the horse! <laughs> right, boys, we're looking for number two or number 13, alright? Number two or number 13, alright? Here we go! What's happening? I don't understand! Here we go! Oh, oh no. Number two came off. A few drinks later. It's all coming down to the last race. We've put all our winnings in it. If we win, how much do we win? £3.70. Talk to me about Nick. Palmer. Do you know, if only this was a 20... If only this was a 21st birthday. Good. Palmer. Irons. More drinks later. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Like this. I said, hey! What's going on? I oh, love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's lost. He's lost. I feel fantastic. I feel fantastic. I I <laughs> this is silly. People queuing on slip roads just to get 
petrol. Unreal. On the Sunday, I'm just coming back from a bit of Sunday League football with Palmer's FC. Uh, just exact with me as well. He enjoyed it. His first taste of Sunday League, so that was good. Gonna get home, have a bit to eat, and then uh, quickly edit this video together and get it up for tomorrow, which one you're gonna watch. Um, but before we do, I just wanted to end it with um, some comments that popped up in the last uh, on the road at Leamington it was um, a few people said ah oh, Smith's cut off Ben Foster in the video I did I absolutely did as everyone knows you know we, we don't want to chat too much it's just all about saying hello and then we can crack on with what's actually happening in the game but what I thought I would do is upload some of the raw stuff into this but Ben couldn't have been more helpful I think when I explained what I was doing um, he saw it as just another football blog um, which it isn't in a way like I, I guess I'm another football vlogger but the, the, the on the roads are slightly different to your, your typical you know take the camera talk to it clip it all together and put it out as soon as possible we take our time on them we try to create a bit of a story make them funny as possible as well um, but Ben I think when when he heard it he, he saw it as you know just another football vlog which is why he said oh can I take the camera um, and then he just started talking and uh, this is what we got Hello everybody, I'm Ben Foster, the Cycling GK. Welcome to this episode of On The Road. Today, we are at Leamington FC. We're playing against Gateshead. This place is literally one minute from my house. Enjoy, it's an absolute balter. And then he asked me afterwards, so you rate it? So uh, maybe you can talk to me about what I think of it tonight. He was really getting involved. So I asked him about um, what he thought of food and, and, and what he's got, and I just played in it. Um, obviously we rate the experience here, the facilities, the food and drink and the cost as well. Talk to us about the food and drink tonight. You had anything? Um, yeah, I have. Uh, the kids have had some um, curry chips which were belting, I won't lie. Plenty of tomato ketchup on the side as well. Um, Louis, my son, had cheesy chips, again belting. Really reasonable price. They went, um, they went and got a load of sweets. The thing is though, I gave them 20 quid and I couldn't tell you how much they cost because I've got no change back. They, they, they said there's no change back. I'm sure there was plenty of it, but um, it's a lovely little stadium this. So I've got to give it to them. Leamington FC, they do know how to put a show on. It's a lovely stadium, dead family orientated, in little ground, I love it here. So when it comes to dropping down retirement from the Premier League, is it Leamington or Hashtag? Oh, I'm sorry Leamington, I'm going to have to go Hashtag. I'm going to have to go Hashtag, they're my boys. Um, but no, I'll give, it, I'll give it props to Leamington though, they're uh, real proper little outfit, proper little ground, they do it really nicely. There you go, I'm pretty sure Spencer's going to be very happy with that clip there, uh, confirming that he will uh, one day join Hashtag. We'll see. Yeah, Ben's fantastic at what he does. He really is. He's obviously got the personality to do this, um, and not all footballers have. I would expect that he's definitely set a bit of a blueprint now for other professionals to potentially, you know, create a platform for themselves. You've got to think, football's quite a short career, and if you don't, you know, you're not lucky enough to get uh, a punditry job or, or, you know, go into to coaching and whatnot, then, then your playing career is, you know, that's it, and that's what do you do after. I think in this day and age, a lot of players have advisors in terms of when, you know, you earn that sort of money, putting it away, assets, property and whatnot, so they're set for when they do retire. But not every single level is going to have that. Not every player gets paid a decent wage either, so it'd be interesting to see where that sort of space goes, you know, professional football vlogs. But then I do think that there'll be some criticism as well as to, you know, if a player doesn't play well in a certain game, fans are gonna get on his back about, you know, making videos around it. It's a good thing because, you know, as fans, we get let into the other side of things. But at the same time, I can see it being a negative um, for, you know, some of the fans that aren't into all of this YouTube stuff. They just want their players to do well on the day and they might criticize them for, you know, having second thoughts about oh, making sure the video is good or whatnot. Put the camera down. Yeah, pretty sure Mr. Ben Foster won't be the last uh, professional footballer to, to start creating content on YouTube. Let me know in the comments, guys, if there is one professional footballer that you'd like to see start uploading, who would it be? I think that's a fantastic question. Shh. Who doesn't love a Swiss transition? Hey, I'm back in the studio right now. Yeah, pretty much just editing this down at the moment. I am knackered. September has been knackering, and it's still not over. But hopefully we can get back to normal, get back to on the road games uh, as soon as I fill the tank up. And also get back to Saturday games. Oh, we really want to go to Saturday football with fans in the ground. Until then, we wait. Obviously, Palmer's has kicked off now, so if you're into your Palmer's FC, your Sunday league, and you didn't know that we're back uploading videos, go and check them out. That's taking up a bit of my time, and obviously when we get back on the road, I'm going to be juggling those too. So that's, that's me for the season, hopefully. Yeah, I'll chirp back in soon with another vlog as and when I can. I would like to do this more, but I have a set time uh, and set amount of days that I, I can work, so I kind of have to fill it up with what's important first and uh, what works, obviously, and on the road is what works, and Palmer's is back, and that works too, so um, I have to prioritise that, and if I get any other time and extra time around it, obviously I will vlog as and when I can, so yeah, that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, 
And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.